over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to the sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with that other team here in the metropolitan area, the New York Giants. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white line. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And the ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up, and instinctively you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt return. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Here's the kicker, Aldrich Rose is ready to get us going. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And another run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here comes the jet offense as they get ready to take over. As we take a peek at Sam Darnold, the former USC Trojan and third pick in the 2018 draft. Now we carry for the former Michigan State man, Lady on Bell. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Offensive starters time. Electric is certainly a word that comes to mind when you talk about Lady on Bell. Love the way that he reshaped his body coming out of college. A bigger, thicker runner while he was at Michigan State. Lost weight, became more of a whippet in the NFL. And now no one can tackle the guy, whether he's running it or catching it. Second and nine. Darnold throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Giving this time is the intended receiver, and it's third down. Now the defense for the Giants. Leonard Rose is one of the top draft picks coming out of USC. He's done nothing to diminish the comparisons people made of past greats. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It is one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, here's Rockland Edwards to punt it. And he'll get this away on the icy winner here. It's taken on the 25. A great return there of 22 yards. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And leading them out there, their 6-5 quarterback. I like what his head coach told us about him this week. That no matter what happens, he will throw seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes. He's the same assertive leader in the hall on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, sir, in our production meetings. Especially when we're talking to the table and dinner, everything's just going to say. That's, that's where I'm going. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now, Saquon Barkley. He is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, ran through all types of tackles, and put the defense back on its heels. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and 10 here. Now a big off here to his running back. Bobby sheds himself free. Well, he's free going down the left 
Jets come up third and long following the sack. Third and long, it's Darnold. Darnold, he lost the football. touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're within the leverage game. How many times we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defense in front of the side, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take him off the deer. Takes off with it. It's a fake. And he gets in. And no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you 
at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Jets. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they kind of script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I think they'll abandon it just yet. And a defense not able to get it from, from a defensive perspective. What's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's a throw out right to Anderson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a real teamwork player because guess what? The guy catch the ball and get all the credit, but I've got to do it to break and family. The full receivers, the offensive linemen, that makes it for a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Eight yards are to break up, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. And if that continues, they'll get a chance of winning this one. Yeah, nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know what else is going to be happy? The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. They got things going their way early. 14 nothing lead and the football. First and 10. He's tackled a yard short of Marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. 14 nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Their lead. They 
Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. touchdown is fourth puts him just one shy of the nfl record the single game and we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one does he what a, what a performance what an absolute great game that he's had here in this one roses to add the extra point He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the rookie Saquon Barkley, the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Roses hoping to kick it away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by Ronald Hunter. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Le'Veon Bell and the Jets ready to begin their next drive. They 